Hello there everyone on YouTube as well. Welcome to another episode of this Wood Elves campaign. Now I'm having to do a couple of um, actions that I already, uh, that I had already done. Now I do not have a lot of money, no, not this, but might as well just try to build these up. You know, this will still provide some income. This will provide, what, 200? This provides 20%. There also provides some wine. Uh, I think those were the ones that I tried to build up, so yeah, that, I think that's okay. The hunter. This guy, might as well just move it over to Canels here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think I can go all the way to Paravon and conquer it, so that's fine. Then I could actually try to betray my my Wood Elf's friends. I mean, they have the a lot of war dancers, which is not good, and they have a lot of deep wood scouts. I mean, wow. That's an interesting Play, army. They go more for war dancers than for eternal gods. Well, I get it. You know, it's it's not that they have to face anything here. These guys do not have shield or armor, by the way. So it means that I can uh, pretty much just have a very good army of, um, you know, just have a very good army of uh, archers to deal the damage against these guys. You know. Mm, that'll be nice. For sure. And let me see their speed. Hang on a second. Spill 48. They're really fast. I mean, it's really fast. They look like cavalry. That's interesting. They look like cavalry. Look at that. I mean, yeah, let, let me check a unit of cavalry. Yeah, well, they don't look like cavalry, but they are certainly faster than anything else. I mean, yeah. Checking unit speed just to see. Like they're they're kinda as fast as Minotaurs. And Minotaurs are really nice. They have no force penalty. Okay, so these guys, I kinda wanna conquer Canels there first. So let's go for it. I know that this has done everything, so it's it's giving me five hundred and seven. It's more because of the ember that I actually have to do some stuff. Now this gives less upkeep, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. You know, I, I know for sure I should probably go against these guys. You know, just capture them before. What is actually the garrison here? That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. And he does have some tree kin, so there's no way I'm gonna actually conquer these guys fast. No, there's no way. I'm gonna need like three armies to destroy these guys, so might as well just keep going for these places instead, you know. The offices, can I assign anyone? No, these guys cannot be assigned there. So might as well just uh, wait for the... Well, I had it already. So I could replace this guy with someone else. I mean, I can replace the Lord with a Glade Lord so that it can actually go for uh, something else, like Honorable... Yeah, I mean, I could replace this so that it can go for as a another guy. There we go. So, yeah, she can have anything there. Let me go for skills. She can have a mount. Hey, I can get a forest dragon there. Almost awesome. Now, either stuff for missile, right? Yeah, might as well just get every uh, everything for missile. Mm -hmm. So movement range, I don't feel like it's a necessity now. Might as well just get the mount for her, or these. Yeah, let's go for these. There we go. That's awesome. So everything is on missile stuff here with this girl. So here's the deal. Since she's also level 3, might as well just put her as protector. Recruitment costs, leaderships, or, or a size unit experience gained. Then income from trade. Faction. That's nice. Then I'll check what the Warden of the Wildwood me means. As soon as build it up in four turns. So, okay. I guess that's okay. I, I can conquer these places without having any reinforcements at all. So, yeah, let's go for it. Okay. I won't get that. Might as well just go for the top one and sack the place. And then capture canals there. Yeah, 
There we go. Let me see here. I'm special. Block the army or kill it. Might as well just block it. I mean, well, might as well just do the actions against this guy, right? Yeah, might as well just try to block this guy. Success. That's good because I want him to gain some levels here. This is only available at rank 6. Yeah, you might as well just get some assassin bonuses here. And let's see, how much would be on canals? Cost 5,000! So there's no way I can build that up. Might as well just sack Paravon there. On my way. Yeah, there we go. Let's go for the sacking. <laughs> this is minus 3 here, that's, that's difficult. So I gotta sack a lot of places, you know, that just to gain a lot of money initially. I could probably sack a lot of places, just gain the money, and then go and retrieve them. Hopefully Paravon is going to be able... Oh, I'm going to be able to, to sack that place. These guys are at war. Peace negotiated, and I got some more trade going. That's nice. Let me check diplomacy and see if anyone would like to trade. Not really, I'm already trading with everyone. These guys, I have a non-aggression pact only. Might as well get try to get a military alliance with these guys. No way, that's not gonna happen, it seems. So, attitude, let me see. Bastion. Bow before the rightful lords of this land, and I No, they don't want that. These lands. Caravan. I could get a non-aggression pact and get a lot of money from them, but I don't know. Might as well. So these guys are at war with them. You have been granted access to I'm gonna of offer to enter war against these guys, and you're gonna. I'm gonna demand some money out of that. They rejected. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They didn't go for it. It's okay. So these guys are sieging. I might as well try to attack these uh, this army. I mean, shock cavalry, missile units, shock cavalry. Yeah, but I'm pretty much better than them. I mean, these are savage. Everything out here doesn't have any armor or defense. So yeah, might as well just attack the skull takers and then take it on. Let's declare war. There we go. I do not agree with this at all. I think I'm gonna be able to manage this just fine, even though I have some casualties here. Like, I haven't been on the offensive yet, so this is a good test as well. I mean, most of my battles have been quite defensively, I think. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on. Let's take on some skull takers. Really love the name from the guy. Orion. <laughs> Just reminds me of Master of Orion. I actually have to get on to that game as well. Like most of my units fire while moving. I think this is just perfect for these against these savages and the other stuff. So speed for these units should actually be a priority. Now that I think of it, yeah. It should be. Come on. Like, I have a lot of units, but they do not have shields. If I get a lot of units with shields, I can possibly destroy them against the war dancers there. I don't know what is good versus the war dancers. I'm going to have to fight and find that out. Just, I'm not talking about this battle, I'm talking in the future, you know. So these guys might as well just get this guy to the, to the middle, or to the front, I mean. There we go. 
these guys. There we go. We can go here. I think the these guys are really good against the orc boars, so let me send them. There we go. So they're good against the orc boars. They're kind of cool against them, but they are archers, so you know. Right. Let's move these guys like here. If he doesn't want to come in, if he doesn't want to attack me, I'm not gonna move him right away. Just gonna go on that side and try to use my my arrow units to destroy a couple of these savage orc boars. Because as soon as he loses that, that is quite fine. I mean, his general is probably really def destroyed. Orc boars and orc biggins. Yeah, I can pretty much just send these guys and start harassing. So two units of these guys should be very interesting to use. I mean, yeah, look at that. He has to use some orc boys, or some orc arrows, but I can just use these guys. There we go. Yeah, they don't have any shields or anything, so that's fine. And these units, they're just going to be able to hit those. That's awesome. You might as well... hang on a second. You might as well just move here. There you go. These have shields, so you might as well go there. And you can start attacking this guy. There we go. So all my archer units are now firing, which is awesome. A couple of these savage orcs and savage orc arrow boys are gonna get lost. Wild riders. Well, they're not good against these guys. Be careful there. Wild there we go. So these guys might as well just move them here. There we go, move there. Ryan, might as well just move there. There we go. Come on, King in the Woods. You can do this. There we go. Let's attack here. This guy's might as well attack those. This guy... Whoa! Goodness! These Savage Orcs, they're doing a lot of damage there. Hunters might as well just move here and here. These guys can move over there. Uh, might as well just attack the Savage Orcs. Well, he is killing a lot of my men, so... Yeah, might as well just attack there. Oh boy, this line? Is collapsing really? I mean, I should be able to deal with them. Okay, you're gonna go for that. Groups, you got a group here. And you got a group here. Well, if I'm gonna lose this, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I have to remember that my, you know, my friends aren't really that cool. Okay, so these guys might as well just attack here. There we go. There we go. There we go. One had to retreat a little bit. Okay, these guys might as well just retreat them. Yeah, I'm gonna try to send those hawks there. Well, I thought this would be easier, honestly, but it's good to be surprised here and then. I 
Actually, no. Just do that. Yeah, these guys cannot do the damage against the Savage Orcs, but you know. Well, Wild Riders might as well just retreat there. This guy can do the damage there. But I mean. A lot of units here retreating. Might as well just hit these guys. Ron, kill those savage orcs. Do we have any other units? Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose this one. And I thought I had the upper hand here. That was silly. I mean, yeah, there's no way. So I guess I should have destroyed these savage orcs much faster. Or the savage units. I mean, their archers just, just demolish these guys. Gotta forget... Uh, I mean, I can't forget that these guys do a lot of damage. Let me see if we can finish these guys up. There we go. These guys might as well just finish these unit up. There we go. The enemy lord is dead. I might as well just finish this guy up. There we go. we go. I'm glad that these archers can do this. Because if not, it would be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I think they're gonna put these guys in Shaken. Might as well just move in. I mean, that's the unit that I don't want them to live. Can I put these guys on attack there? Yeah, I think I, said, I, think I can. So, everything here is retreating. Group 2. They're doing great. These guys are pulling back. Might as well just attack those. Come on. These guys are now pulling back. They're wavering. How is this guy? Let's pull them. Yeah, might as well just move these guys over there and charge them. I don't know if they can handle that, but I don't know. Okay, let's go. Let's attack these guys here. I know that I'm going to lose a lot of units, but... There we go. There we go. Is there anyone here still chasing? This guy is chasing. I mean, that's a problem. There we go, come on. I wonder if I can do this. This guy is retreating. Might as well just move over there. And yeah, these guys are retreating. There's no way I can capture them. But maybe I can. How are these guys? And that was difficult. Yeah, this charge is gonna kill this guy. I mean that's still how many? Thirteen. Maybe they can do that. This guy, yeah, might as well just try that. Or these guys. Still have ammunition. They have. Keep attacking this. I wonder if I can still kill this guy, but, you know, very badly. <laughs> Yeah, they're... they are actually dying. They want to retreat. I think I managed this one, but at what a cost. I mean, well, I'm gonna get a lot of money. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of a bombardment. I don't know if he hits them. It didn't hit. It's getting me, honestly. But I managed. Yeah. These guys can go over that. Group 2, might as well just attack here. There's no one else there. Right, that's cool. There we go. Anyone else here attacking? There we go. I'm fighting 
I'm not fighting their units, I'm fighting their morale here now. These are broken already? Not yet. There we go. Here we go. Swiftly. Armed and ready. Way watchers. Let's go. So that is running away. Those guys are running away. Might as well just cast this. Like how this is an ability. Nothing else. So Yep. Yeah. These guys are running away there. I mean how we can force these guys to run completely? Well, like, no, these guys are actually fighting, so let's go for that. Come on, the wave ring. These guys are retreating. Might as well just go over here. I think I can char use that. Let's go, fight these guys up. There you go. Yeah, they're still always recovering. Man, and these guys are running away. Yeah, these are savage error. Come on, kill them all. If this guy retreats, it's done. There we go. They're wavering now. These guys are wavering, I think. Yeah. And come on, retreat, guys. Retreat. Will you start retreating? They're retreating. They're retreating. Finally, we won. What a cost! <laughs> what a costly victory! And I thought I would be able to finish this really easily. I did a few blunders, you know, but it's always good to know the limits of my battles, of my armies. So I gotta move Orion as fast as I can out of here. I mean, 900 losses there, really. Look at the damage, you know, I concentrated on killing these guys, and I didn't even focus fire on these guys, and if I had focused fire, like two units versus two units, that would be so so much better. You know, these guys can't break through the, the lines of the units that I had easily. So yeah, Orion killed 131. I gotta send this guy into the middle much, much better. Yeah, so I guess green skins are really a threat because of their high damage potential. Um, so I gotta be careful with this. You know, so it's interesting that units that are not armored are actually much more dangerous than the units who uh, who are armored. I mean, yeah, I would rather see these guys as armored than anything else because that would mean less less damage. Now I know there's a lot of units who will die. Yeah, might as well kill the captives. Know that they will survive. I really gotta avoid this. There we go. There we go. Now I'm earning some money. I'll actually build this sculptor's coven. That will give me some public order. Uh, I don't think so. I'm gonna wait for the vineyard. And I could actually just merge these troops. I mean, they are expending a lot of my money, so yeah, might as well. So merge the units. Finally, I'm earning some money. That's okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's all okay. I mean, I am not going to get be able to conquer Paraphorn or... Oh, Waterfall Palace has been destroyed! Oh god, I gotta, I gotta go over there. I don't care. I need all the money that I can to go over there. Because that's a place that I need to capture. What happened here? I'm intercepting? No, not this time. Decline the attack. There we go. But I gotta go over there. It's not gonna be easy. Whistleland has been destroyed. Here recruited a branch wraith. Hey, I got a branch wraith. I don't know what it does. This increases public order, which honestly should be the first thing. What does it allow me to do? So, 
So it can add more public order. Example, more unit experience. You can have a champion here. One is at the forest. Income, reduction, training. So he's a trainer and public order. You can have more melee attack. Interesting. And it's a spellcaster as well. More 10, ward save. Ward save for the hero's army? That's a very. That's probably very interesting. I mean, he can be a very interesting fighter. That's some good melee attack. Yeah, so it's a good hero to have in the in the battle. And also in the campaign map effects. So that's nice. Okay, so kind of have to move this army a little bit back. Yeah, I don't want to go through interception, but I want to go over there to waterfall to our palace. So I don't want to go through interception paths. These are dark times. Eight thousand. That's what it requires. Okay, so. I think I have enough army to deal with these guys. Yeah. Not the other ones. These guys for sure, no. Arguilan versus Wissenland. Yeah, but let's see if I can take Waterfall Palace with this army. You know, I'm gonna join everyone, so that's okay. Let me see diplomacy here. This guy would go immediately into into assistance with me. This is improving, this is improving. Okay, no need. Let me just end up the turn. I know the Skull Takers might want to go against the Yoke of the Ages or King's Glade, but that's actually good for me. I can defend against them. You may speak your honeyed words. Yeah, of course they would like to me to join the war there. I don't want to join the war. I want to capture that place. Butterfly Palace. Yeah, here they come. It's, it's okay. The beastmen have been destroyed. Capture and occupy Karakuthar. No, that no, no. Okay, I got this place uh, on King's Light, so that's extra research rate. But I want to see what this position gives. Public order, construction costs, and melee attack. That's actually really nice. I mean. I really prefer that. You know, less income but more public order and less construction costs. That's actually really nice. I mean, I can get this. How much do I need? Well, I'm gonna see Ready afterwards. Clear a path. Starting out. Lady of the Glade at your service. There we go. So you you're already there. So how is the public order and what is the issues with the public order here? Uh, not really a lot. It's stabilizing. That's nice. Orion. How much would it cost? I don't know. I'll have to end the next turn. Right. Now I could recruit a lot of these guys. You know, war dancers, wildwood rangers. These war dancers seem to be better. These are anti large. I mean, yeah. I think the the wildwood they're much better than the initial ones. So yeah. Let's end up the turn. I'm not spending money because I want to have enough money to conquer Waterfall Palace. That's just going to grow exponentially. So I, I think the Crooked Moon has just made me a very good assistance there. I wish the other guys would try to attack that army, but you know. Okay, more charge bonus, which is always nice. So what can I have? Might as well just go for this. I mean, for this one I need a temple. Of Kurnus. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You have orders? So how much money yes. would it require? 
7,800, so in the next couple of turns I will be able to do so. Hopefully these guys don't betray me, but there's there's actually no way that Master I can know that. So if they betray me, I have no option. Yeah, might as well just go over there. Oh, this is trespassing, but if I move here... It's okay, because I'm on the Oak of Ages. Yeah, and then I can just Away move... I go. There we go. So I'm still replenishing a little bit. Then I can move directly there. That's cool. So, end turn. Let's see if I can get the Waterfall Palace. I mean, these guys has ju have just made me a favor. A huge favor here. Uh, I guess for YouTube that'll be it, guys. I'm gonna end up the other. So, yeah, the Krukenbunder has left the, pa the place. And I can move the next time into water Waterfall Palace. So, yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching on YouTube, and that'll be it. Cheers. Bye-bye.